Baseball is America's pastime indeed with decades of memories. A former Padre on a mission and he needs your help. Sholly joins him now. Arthel, this is unbelievable. I'm here with Andy Strasberg with more on how you can get your baseball photos published in a new book. Good morning, Andy. Thanks morning. for being here. Thanks, Sholly. These are absolutely incredible. We're going to talk more about the pictures. Um, but first of all, let's just talk about baseball for for a few seconds. It's the greatest sport. It's the America's national pastime. Uh, it's been around for over 120 years. Uh, there's a lot of deep roots when it comes to baseball, and I'm looking for fans and their experience as documented in photography. Okay, so let's talk about 120 years. You have to imagine that throughout this time there have been cameras that have just snapped, you know, images. And then what happens to these pictures? Well, interestingly enough, the older pictures, they seem to be going away because their owners, as they pass away their personal effects, they become, you know, not important trash and they get thrown out. And on the other end of the spectrum, meaning today, mm -hmm. you have a lot of people who are taking pictures, digital pictures. Same thing is happening, but for different reasons. They keep it either in their camera or they download it into their computer. They don't print them out. And if their computer crashes, then the thing that they're most interested in is their documents. So on both ends of the spectrum, we're losing those pictures that fans have taken. And I have decided I'm gonna go around the country and harvest these pictures that fans have taken. Okay, why? Well, I, because I think it shows the love and the affinity for the game of baseball. Here are some. Uh, and, and, you know, it's interesting. It doesn't have to be action photos. These can be of, well, here is a Junior Padres uh, caravan that took place in 1975. Wow. And you've got uh, Jerry Coleman, Bob Chandler, uh, Randy Jones is sitting there, a couple of Padrettes. So I think they document the love of the game, and I think it's so important from a fan's perspective to, to see that. What's this one? Well, that's Bo Belinsky. Now, Bo uh, gained all his fame and notoriety in Anaheim when he pitched for the Angels in the early 60s, but a fan took this great picture of Bo when he was trying out for the Cardinals, and that was at spring training, and that's Dottie. I, I should Wait, also... this, Dottie right here? Yeah, that's okay. Dottie. All right. Let's, let's take a look at it. These are unbelievable. What's uh, here this? Here is Harry Suitcase Simpson, and this is from the collection of Tom Larwin. And uh, this is the minor league Padres. This is when the Padres played down at Lane Field. And I'm not looking for action photos. What you do know, you mean by that? Would well, I'm, I don't want a picture of a guy hitting a home run or sliding into second base, because there's professional photographers that do that and do a great job. What I'm looking for are those pictures that are captured by the fans, and like this one of uh, Suitcase Simpson. Okay, I have to ask you to take this out, because this caught my eye while we're looking at this. And while you're um, doing that, here, there, okay, tell me what this is. Look at this. Well, that is the San Diego Padres, the Pacific ah. Coast League Padres, and they're on a plane and they're heading to play someplace in California and somebody got up and snapped a picture in uh, in the airplane as uh, as they were about to take off. Unbelievable, unbelievable. So you're asking for everybody to, to send these pictures to you? At fantography at AOL.com. Fantography at AOL.com. And we actually have that link up, up on our website, fox5sandiego.com. Right. Yeah. You want specific pictures? Uh, any pictures that document the baseball experience, major league, minor league, or Negro leagues, and uh, something that has got a story with it, a personal story. And you were gonna do what? with all these? I'm going to collect them and then I think I can tell right now that I'm going to have enough of these to publish a book and then if I get a lot, yes. then I'm going to hope to do a TV documentary. Oh, that would be and wonderful. And it's from the fans' perspective. It doesn't get any better than that. It doesn't. Andy Strasberg, thank you so much for being here. Again, his email is up on our website, box5sandiego.com. So go dig in. You, you may have some of the things that he's looking for. Thanks for being here. Thanks. Arthel, we'll send it over to you. All righty, Sholly. Thank you. Chug a beer. Safe.